Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. See, I'm going to have some content for women, too. And uh, I'm going to help some of y'all. I know I can help some of y'all, and I'm going to help some of y'all. I'm going to help some of y'all. Because, see, the thing is, I'm getting a lot of comments from women, and they're not even necessarily rude. they just being honest at the, what they think. But I'm going to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to help you. I'm going to help the ones that's already married. I'm going to help the ones that want to be married. But you got to realize that what you're doing right now, what you're doing right now could hurt you. Just like, okay, let's say I got fired from six jobs in a row. And I went for a, a job. And they said, you have to be completely honest about your work history. And I put on there that I got fired from those six jobs. What happens next? What happens is they can either choose to take a chance because I was honest or to move on to somebody else. But if I really wanted that seven job, I should have did a better job not getting fired from them other six. So that's what y'all got to realize. You can't force a man to deal with you if you've been a 304. But I'm going to show y'all as well. We're going to have husband school, wife school. Husband school going to be totally different than y'all think. And this is stuff I learned along the way. And don't get it. Don't take it the wrong way. I don't hate anyone. I don't. Like, I've had run-ins with people. I don't hate any of the people I have run-ins with. If I hated a person, their life is in danger. That's why I would never allow myself to get to that point. I don't hate. I don't like everybody, but I don't hate anybody. So we're going to get into wife school. This is going to be episode one wife school and we're gonna do lives and don't try to say i'm trying to be like kevin something let me tell you something does does it say anywhere that kevin samuels is the only one that could talk about relationships he was good he was but don't y'all need to stop acting like he the only one that could talk about this stuff because he wouldn't even want a child to take that attitude so we we finna get y'all better because me personally, I think y'all behavior been so bad that some guys think it's going to be different elsewhere. And these women, that's how they getting set up. That's how they getting drugged. Because it's perfectly normal for a man to want to deal with women. That's normal. So let's get into, I got a, a list of eight and I will do a short for those who have a shorter attention span of wife school like like the mindset some of the behaviors that you need to get married to have better marriages than what i had and what we see so on and so forth things happen man don't get upset if your relationship goes bad it's if you trust me you're not the only one it, it happens man and then you could be done broke up with somebody for this reason, that reason. Then they get with somebody else and they be everything that they could have been with you. Don't get mad over that either. It happens, man. It happens. You got to keep living. Man, there's so much to do, man. The sun is shining bright in our area. I already know winter is coming like he used to say, like Kevin Samuel. In what's this September in probably two months two to three months it's gonna be ice snow cold as I don't know what in this area seasons change you gotta know remember the song is one of the best 80s songs ever I play it to this day with expose seasons change what they say Seasons change, 
people change. That that's just how it happens. But you can kind of lessen the the uh, the negative effect of it by just being what you need to be as and you women especially. Just women pretty much unless yo you with a, a drug addict or somebody with mental illness or something wrong with them you pretty much can control your relationship with many people. So let's get into this list. The first thing that you want to do if you are a wife or if you want to be a wife and let's say you're getting older, you 40, what, what's 40? All you got to do, if you had kids at 40, it's risky, but you just got to check them, doctor. You don't let, you, you tell them, you don't want to be mean about it because they'll do some little shysty stuff even quicker. But you dictate to them what they going to give you, what they going to do, how they going, how you going to have a kid. You know? But we go in the hospital, especially Christians and religious people, and y'all just trying to be nice to somebody uh, that your whole life is in their hand. Number one, keep yourself young. Keep yourself young. Do some research. Find out what you could do in terms of your skin. Find out what you can do in terms of working out. Find out what you can do in terms of, of your diet. Find out what you can do in terms of your flexibility. I kid you not, man. I, somebody, I think it was Plickett. Yeah, it was Plickett put a video of a, a lady that was older than me that put her foot behind her head like this and said the video was she said something like this is why y'all can't keep no man yeah, I knew my phone would start ringing let me see wait hold on that person can wait so what I'm saying is She said, this is why y'all can't keep no man. She put her leg, she put her whole leg, rested her leg on the back of her head. She rested her leg on the back of her head. I had to, I had to send a message. So... What am I saying? You see how she was able to do that? A lot of women can't do that. See, even while you're young, you should be in the gym. You should be running. When you get older, you should do the same thing. Be in the gym, be running, taking deep breaths, you know, uh, stretching. Because you don't want to be one of those women that tries to use manipulation and tries to dominate a man, especially if you got an alpha male, you gonna turn them off. You try to dominate them, cause real alpha males, they you're not gonna dominate them. You're not gonna dominate them. This how people uh, have a good employee, but he'll be an alpha male, and they'll try all this domination and all this other tactics, and he'll get tired of them and leave, cause the alpha male sees himself as. I can just get something else. I could just get somebody else. But you want to deal with it. Don't you don't have to be an alpha to protect your house. But at the same time, a real alpha is definitely going to protect their house. So you don't want to get into this back and forth thing where you're not keeping yourself young. So now instead of you being able to do what you need to do in your relationship, in your marriage, you trying to argue your way. You trying to do other stuff that's going to turn him off. Keep yourself young. Number two, give him what he wants. That's your Bible. That's where your blessing is. See, y'all listening to all these people to be practicing witchcraft, uh, black magic and stuff like that. You know, it's... I mean, we ain't gonna get into the spell aspect, but everything about knowing how to do stuff is not completely wrong. 
But we ain't gonna even get into that. Like manifestation, what you think that is? But if you keep yourself young and you give, just give him what he wants. You should be asking your husband, what what is it? A queen is gonna ask the king, what a, what is it that you want exactly? What do you want me to do? See, if you try to run the kingdom like Jezebel, guess what's going to happen? The eunuchs are going to throw you out the window and you're going to break your neck. You're going to break your neck because the prophet's going to expose you and the, the eunuchs going to get you. So that's what happened with Jezebel and Jehu and all that. King Ahab didn't do his job. He shouldn't have been letting her run stuff. He should have had her in control. And she, on her end, she should have just been content with being queen. But a, a weak king is still a king. Whether he's strong or weak, if he's a king, he's a king, and you're his queen. So just give him what he wants. He wants you to cook, cook. If he wants you to clean, clean. If he wants you to uh, work, go work. If he wants you, I mean, that's what you dare to do. I mean, do y'all not understand that marriage came from the scripture? The concept of marriage is biblical. And what does it say? Men shall have rule over you. What does it say? I will provide him a helper suitable to him. But what else does it say? A quarrels a man, it says it's better to dwell in the corner of a roof than in a house with a quarrelsome wife. Stop fighting. If you his girlfriend and you want him to marry you, you fighting him, he not gonna marry you if he's smart. You don't be, you don't be, and you don't need to be a quarrelsome woman. Number three, be completely honest about your history with men, etc. Notice I put etc. Because some of y'all be getting down with some other stuff too. If you got to tell him, well, I, he said, well, baby, why are you so loose? Well, I was, I just bought a 12 inch dildo. Same for kids. It's not for kids. Well, um, I, I was getting wild when I was younger. I'm just going to be honest with you. Stop lying and talking about you don't remember. Be honest about your history. Because if you, if you was a 304, if you got a high body count, then your best chance is just to be honest about it. Because honesty will give you a better chance to correct your behavior. It don't give you a guarantee because you shouldn't have never did it. But it'll give you a better chance. Some of y'all look good enough, cook good enough, act good enough to still get chose. But you just, you know, you you can't keep being that way and think guys just waking up. They watching my videos. They watching other people. It's going to choose on you. If you just, if you in that high body count mode, you just racking up bodies. You better understand that guys know what to do now. They'll be like, well, you know, the ones that's not as spiritual, they'll be like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and smash maybe once or twice. And, I'm, you know, she ain't for me. If you don't want them to say you ain't for them, this wife school is going to be what you want. I'm telling you. Number four, surrender to him. Same thing. Giving him what he wants. Surrender to him. Don't be talking about, well, I don't like nobody telling me what to do. Well, you shouldn't be nobody's wife then. Go get you a puppy or a cat. You can, you can, you don't like nobody telling you what to do. A dog or a cat can't even talk, so they ain't going to tell you what to do. You don't need to be dealing with no man then. Because a man... Is going to tell you what to do. A boy. Is going to let you do what you want. Because he's a boy. He can't really tell you what to do. 
<clears throat> so number four, surrender to him. Number five, get down with polygyny. Listen, that's your best chance. Because guys that's in polygyny or guys that's going to be in polygyny, they going to be the ones getting married in the future. It ain't going to be these guys, all these guys with the jaw beer. And I, I don't, none of you content creators and nobody don't think I'm signaling. <clears throat> don't think I'm singling you out. I'm just visualizing. So all these guys that look the same, low haircut, jaw beers, locks, got motorcycles, three wheel, challenger, all that. They are not practicing polygyny. They practicing lie edgyny. What's lie edgyny? I coined it. Lie edgyny is dudes that want you to believe you the only one, but he got other side chicks and stuff like that. A dude that practice polygyny, you are, you don't already know who he's dealing with. You could either accept it or leave it. If you leave it, what's the chances of you finding somebody? Slim to none. Because a lot of these guys, they, gonna get, they ain't going to give you nothing but a loose vag and a mouth full of they wrench. So... Get down with polygyny and improve, and improve your chances of marriage. Number six, sign a prenup that shows a man you will not break him if you break up. Put yourself on the line. Like, if we break up, I'm not going to hit you with alimony or child support. But also put on there something that protects you where you will have something put up for yourself where you won't need to try to break him if y'all break up. Break up is break up. It is not. It's not break him. Y'all act like it's a break him. When y'all break up, people be like, "So what happened between you and such and such?" You say we broke up, but you really trying to break him. We broke him. I mean, that's if you don't take that attitude, you got a better chance, man. Like, put yourself on the line, like. We leave what we come with, except for this account. We're going to have this account together that we're going to split. Y'all split what's in that account. Y'all decide who gets any property. And you stay out of these governmental courts. You, I'm telling you, if you get down like that, some dudes will be like, I like her. Well, we're going to have to see. But no, don't, if you agree... Not to have a marriage license, but y'all gonna have like a ceremonial marriage. A lot of guys will be willing to do that. I'm telling you. Number seven, have a completely unselfish attitude. See, one thing that we talking about in this space is that selfishness, that entitlement. I just made videos about that. Entitlement was one of the things that kind of caused some things to go sour in mind. But you, I can't blame everything. You can't never 100% blame the other person. But from your side, I can show you what, what you could do and how you could think that it help you. That's why we're doing this. We're doing this wife school. We're going to do the husband school. We're going to show y'all that, you know, people can still have relationships. It's just up to you. It's how you go about it. You don't want no dude finding out you done had six trains ran on you and now he's married to you and you didn't tell him. If, and if you go in there right, he can be like, well, you know, I can't get past that. I want to go my separate ways. And y'all just go y'all separate ways. Y'all just go y'all separate. That kind of stuff, you young women, you want to be wives one day. If you virgin, stay that way stay that way because the virginity and when i say virgin i mean nobody should be touching you nobody no outside touches no outside kisses no outside nothing the virgin is the most highest value of women because that dude can turn her into whatever freak he want to turn her into a man shouldn't have to compete with all these other guys that's not that's not one flesh. That's not what one flesh means. One flesh means two things. Either the one flesh is the one guy that opens you up, you stay with him, 
and y'all continue to symbolize that union or one flesh is you marry somebody and that's the only flesh that you get. Them not, it ain't no in between. Ain't no in between. But you want it to be the virgin. Like if you a virgin right now, do not let these dudes talk you in to sex without marriage. Keep that. I'm telling you, I ain't trying to get graphic, but boy, that that right there, that's gonna give you some, some, you know, you know. That right there is gonna be having excellent fragrances, excellent sounds. Excellent everything. You need to keep that. Keep that. If you there, keep that. If you lost that, but you just lost that, don't keep losing it. Go back to abstinence until you meet that guy. And if you done met that guy too many times, you need to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. My body count 40. I'm not talking about mine ain't even that high. But I'm talking about if your body count is 40, then what should he know? Your body count is 40. And eighth thing I have on this episode one, look at character attributes more than resources. You there to help him. So if you done already got your act together, and let's say he's like a like a blue collar and you white collar, you corporate. You want to be alone or you want to broaden your horizon? You say, well, I want somebody on my level. Okay. Do somebody on your level want you? What's your level, by the way? People say that. What's your level? Because last time I checked, money don't, money can buy you a lot of things, but it don't guarantee happiness. So if you got money and you meet, when you meet guys and stuff like that, you should go by their character and you should go by uh, who they are as a person before you go by that other stuff because if you all that, you will help him and he'll come up. Your job is to help a man, not hurt a man and your job ain't to lead men. So if you make more than him, you still a queen. You still a queen. Now, if you a better manager than him, then you you decide well, how you're going to go about that. You still should follow his lead, but you should make suggestions. You always should follow his lead, but you should show him, look, this is how I built this up right here. Like what I noticed about you, it's a, it's a tactful way to say anything. What I noticed about you is, you know, what we need for you to do is we need you to start doing this. Not, you're dusty and you this and you that. Don't get no shouting match with no man. you supposed to have an attitude, what's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. But what do women do? They want you to accept, stop expecting guys to accept garbage. Guys is learning not to accept garbage. Y'all want it to be what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. That's not a marriage. That's voodoo. That's evil. That's demon spirits, familiar spirits all in your mix. Ain't nothing righteous about that. Ain't nothing spiritual about that. So stop being that way. What's his is yours and what's yours is his. And that's all I'm going to say on this one. I got to get going. It's late. Thanks for watching.